Hello Year 10, it's Miss Lindsay here and today we're going to be looking at calculating with numbers in standard form. As usual, I'd like to try the do now exercise first. Um, we've got just a recap of some previous knowledge from Key Stage 3 and then we've got a recap from a couple of lessons ago on indices. So try those and then when you're ready for the answers, play the video. Okay, 0 0.86 as a percentage, but we're converting a decimal to a percentage, so we multiply by 100, and that would give me 86%. Two fifths. Um, there are two ways of doing this. I think the best is to convert it to a fraction over 100. So if we multiply that by 2, we get 4 over 10. And then if we multiply that by 10, to make another equivalent fraction, we get 40 over 100. Percent means out of 100, 40 out of 100 is 40%. Same tactic for the next one, 17 over 20 is the same as we multiply by 5 to make 20 into 100. So 17 multiplied by 5 is 85. 85 out of 100, so that's 85%. Okay, so the next question. 5 to the power of negative 3 is basically 1 over 5 cubed, which is 1 over 1, 2, 5. 16 to the power of 1 quarter. We want the fourth root of 16 which is 2, 4 to the power of negative 3, or 1 over 4 cubed, which is 1 over 64. Actually, these aren't working out to be very neat on my computer screen, so I'm going to go to my paper and write the rest of the answers on my paper. Okay, the rest of them I'm going to do on my paper, so it's a bit clearer for the rest of them. 27 to the power of negative 4 thirds. Oh, let's zoom in a bit as well. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, let's start again. 27 to the power of negative 4 thirds is the same as 1 over 27 to the power of 4 thirds, which is the same as 1 over 27 cube rooted to the power of 4. Cube root of 1 over 27 is 1 over 3, and 1 over 3 to the power of 4 is 1 over 81. That was question 1 in the middle. Question 2 in the middle there, 64 to the power of negative 2 thirds. So the negative means that I want the reciprocal of 64 to the power of 2 thirds. Then I want to cube root that and square it. The cube root of 1 over 64 is 1 over 4. And 1 over 4 squared is 1 over 16. The third question in the middle, 25 to the power of 3 over 2. So I'm going to square root 25 and then cube it. The square root of 25 is 5 and 5 cubed is 1 to 5. And the third column, question one. 125 over 8 to the power of 2 thirds. That means I'm going to cube root and then I'll square. The cube root of 125 is 5, cube root of 8 is 2, 5 squared is 25 and 2 squared is 4. 125 over 27 to the power of negative 2 thirds. Okay, well I've got a negative here, so I'm going to find the reciprocal and then raise to the power of 2 thirds. So I'm going to cube root and then square. Cube root of 27 is 3, the cube root of 125 is 5. 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. 
And the third question, 8 over 27 to the power of 2 thirds. We want cube root and then square. Cube root of 8 over 27 squared. Cube root of 8 is 2. Cube root of 27 is 3. 2, oops, that should be squared. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. Excellent. So if you found any of those questions really tricky, perhaps go back to the lesson on negative indices in unit 1.5. Right, so how do we calculate with numbers in standard form? Take a look at this question. 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. This is what I'd like you to do for these questions. I'm going to multiply the numbers. 3 multiplied by 2. And then multiply the powers. 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. 10, well, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. And 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 would give us 10 to the power of 9. Remember our lesson on index laws. When we multiply, we add the powers. So that's 6 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9. Next question, 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay, well, 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, and 10 to the power of 5, multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 4, well, 5 plus negative 4 is 1. So that's 15 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. Is that in standard form? Why not? Why is this number here not written in standard form? Think back to last lesson. What's wrong with this number? This number needs to be between 1 and 10. It's actually 15 at the moment. So this number isn't in, in standard form. That number needs to be 1.5. Well, 15 times 10 is 150. 1.5 times 10 to the power of what makes 150? 10 squared. Or I like to think of it as we've taken a 10 from here, we've divided by 10 from here, so we multiply by 10 over here so that we maintain the same value. We've divided this one by 10 and multiplied this by 10. Now we have our answer in standard form. You guys try these ones. Okay, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. And 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 is 10 to the power of 9. That's not in standard form because this number is greater than 10. So we can say 1.2 multiplied by... 10 to the power of, okay, so I've taken the 10 from here, I've divided this one by 10, so to balance it out, I'm going to multiply this by 10, so the power is going to increase. Next question, 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, 10 to the power of negative 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 is 1, almost actually identical to the question on the left. So that would be 1.5 multiplied by 10 squared. Let's move on. Let's look at some divide examples. So a similar principle here. I'm going to do 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 divided by 10 to the power of 3. 
4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 to the power of 9 divided by 10 to the power of 3 is 10 to the power of 6. And we'll just check our answers in standard form, so I can leave it like that. So down here, 1 divided by 2 is a half, or 0 0.5. 10 to the power of 5 divided by 10 to the power of negative 4. Well, we're going to be doing 5 take away negative 4, which is the same as 5 plus 4, so that will give me 10 to the power of 9. Just to show you that, in case you didn't quite follow, when we divide, we subtract the powers, so we're doing 5 take away negative 4, which is 9, because when we take away negative, we actually add Okay, is this in standard form? No, this isn't in standard form because this number here is less than 1. But we can change that. Let's multiply this number by 10 to make it 5. In order to maintain the same value, we'd have had to have taken a 10 from over here, so that should go down to 10 to the power of 8. You guys try these ones. Okay, well, 2 divided by 4 is 1 half, or 0 0.5. And 10 to the power of 9 divided by 10 to the power of 3 is 10 to the power of 6. It's not in standard form. 0 0.5 is less than 1, so let's change it to 5. Multiplied by 10 to the power of... Well, we've increased this by multiplying it by, by 10, so we must have had to take a 10 from here. So let's reduce that to 5. 2 divided by 8 is 1 quarter, or 0 0.25. 10 to the power of 5 divided by 10 to the power of negative 4 is 10 to the power of 9. Remember, as we said over here, 5 take away negative 4 is actually 5 plus 4, which is 9. That's not in standard form. I need to change that. 2.5 by multiplying it by 10. Now we get a number that's between 1 and 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of. Well, I've multiplied this by 10, so made this bigger. I'm going to have to make this smaller to even it out. So 10 to the power of 8. Right, have a think about these questions A, B, C, or D. 6 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. So 6 multiplied by 1 is 6. And 8 plus 3 is 11. Three multiplied by 6 is 18. 10 to the 12 multiplied by 10 to the 5 is 10 to the power of 17. This is an option, but we know that's the wrong answer because it's not in standard form. 1.8 multiplied by, so we've divided this by 10, so we have to make this one 10 times bigger, 10 to the power of 18. Answer D. Okay, well 9.6 divided by 4.8 is 2. And 10 to the power of 6 divided by 10 to the power of negative 3, so we're subtracting here, 6 take away negative 3, is the same as 6 plus 3, which is 9. Whoops, that's not a very good 9, which is 9. Which would give us 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9. Okay, this is also the correct answer, but not for this question because it's asking for the answer in standard form. Another divide, this line here means divide. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 10 to the 6 divided by 10 squared is 10 to the 4. So answer C. 4 divided by 5 is 4 fifths, or 0 0.8. 10 to the 3 divided by 10 to the 4, or 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And that's not in standard form. Multiply this by 10 
So divide this by 10. If you want, you can always check your answer another way. You can say, well, 0 0.8 divided by 10 is 0 0.08. Make sure this is the same value. 8 divided by 100, 0 0.08. Yep. So we know they have the same value. It's just this one is in standard form. Right, hopefully you've got to grips with that. Work through these questions. Pause the video while you do that and then press play for the answers. Now try applying your new knowledge to these questions here. When you're ready, press play. I'll show you the answers and then I'll go through the solutions to these questions, but only watch the solutions to the ones that you've got wrong. Question 13, we can use a calculator for this question. The sun is a distance of 1.5, we've got a distance here of 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the 8 kilometers from Earth. Light travels at a speed, so we're given a speed here, at 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 kilometers per second. How many seconds will it take for light from the sun to reach the Earth? In other words, what's the time if this is distance and this is the speed. Okay, so while I know speed equals distance over time, and I can rearrange that. I'm working out time, then I'll do distance divided by speed. So I want to do 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 divided by 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5. And as we said, we can use our calculator. One point five, here's my standard form button. It would help if I turned it on. One point five multiplied by ten to the power of eight. Ah, really important actually that you put your standard form in brackets. And then I'm going to divide that by three times 10 to the power of 5. That gives me 500. Five hundred seconds. Question 14. A water molecule has a mass of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 20, negative 29 kilograms. A bottle contains 1.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 28 molecules of water. Calculate the mass of water in a bottle. So this is the mass of a molecule. This is how many molecules there are. So we're going to have to multiply here. So I'm going to do 3 multiplied by 1.7. This is not a calculator question. I'm going to do 1.7 multiplied by 3. 3 times 7 is 21, 3 multiplied by 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, so that's 5.1. Negative 29 plus 28 is negative 1. Makes sense to just write this as an ordinary number. It doesn't ask that, but it makes sense. Divide by 10 once, 0 0.51 kilograms. Question 15a. One. Write these as ordinary numbers. 8 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 is 80,000. 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 2, or 10 squared, is 300. Work out the sum of those two things, giving your answer in standard form. I want to add 300 to 80,000. 
it would give me 80,300. So in standard form, that's 8.03. My loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. Question 16. Work out these, give your answers in standard form. So use the same technique as we used in question 15. 3.4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 is 340,000. 6.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 67,000. Add them. Four hundred and seven thousand, which is four point zero seven multiplied by ten to the power of five. Sixteen B. Ninety-eight thousand. Take away two hundred and twenty. Ninety-seven thousand seven hundred and eighty, which is nine point seven seven eight, multiplied by ten to the power of four. Part C. Seven point two multiplied by ten squared is seven hundred and twenty. Six point two multiplied by ten to the power of negative one is zero point six two. I want to add those. Which would give me 720.62, which in standard form is 7.2062 multiplied by 10 squared. Part D. 8.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5. 5. Take away 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 1, so 0 0.7. 0.7 Then in standard form, question 17. 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of x plus 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of y plus 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of z equals 770.07. Write down a, set, a possible set of values for x, y, and z. Okay, well, I would split this up into three different numbers. 700,000, 70, and 0 0.07. Clearly, we've added these three numbers up to get that number there. So that would be... 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5. And that would be 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. This would be 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 2. So x equals 5, y equals 1, and z equals negative 2. There we are, that's the end of the lesson. Well done everyone, I look forward to seeing you next lesson.